The first part of this video assumes that you are already familiar with intermittent fasting and why it is a very powerful way to not only burn fat efficiently, but also improve your health and potentially your longevity. Later in the video, we will go into what is intermittent fasting, why it burns fat fast, and how it can be used to ensure that you do not end up with lots of loose skin if you have significant fat to burn, as logically there will be less of you to fill your skin. How you start is best described by an analogy. If you want to build a given muscle, you start by lifting slightly heavier weights than you find comfortable. The body will then soon adjust and that heavier weight becomes easy to move. Only then do you increase the resistance by increasing the weight. Your body will soon tell you if you have tried to do too much too fast. Similarly, write down a goal like one pound of fat loss to start with. The logic being that intermittent fasting is simply a tool in your fat loss toolbox and just like increasing weights incrementally when you want to build a muscle, you slowly set goals to decrease your fat. Once you have demonstrated to yourself that this tool works, you can progress further. Intermittent fasting is very easy if you do not make large jumps. I personally used it efficiently and have no further fat to burn so I can guide you through the pitfalls. The first is that you do not need to pay for a special app or any dietary changes. You certainly do not need to pay a subscription to learn this. The first change you make is set an alarm on your phone that will tell you the latest time in the evening that you should stop eating. However, do not beat yourself up if a friend invites you around for dinner 30 minutes after that deadline. Because the second thing to learn is flexibility. Let me explain. Just choose the current time that you have already made a habit of eating dinner. In this example, we will assume 6pm. And you will have no further food after that dinner until you break your fast. Eat breakfast. Without realising it, when you eat your breakfast will just be another habit that is typically programmed into you during childhood. I will assume that breakfast is currently 8am. View alcohol and drinks other than water as food during that fasting period, so they are to be avoided. So, your fasting window will be 14 hours and we know that is not sufficient for you to burn fat, otherwise you would not have come to this channel. It follows that your eating window is the other 10 hours in the day currently. If you are working out in the morning, you need to dispel the myth that you need to eat before your workout, as it is very unlikely that your workout will burn through the glycogen store in your muscles and liver. When exercising fasted, it encourages the body to convert your stored fat into energy when the glycogen stores start depleting. The body then upregulates its ability to burn fat as energy. Similarly, you need to dispel the myth that you need a breakfast to concentrate better in the morning as the opposite is actually true, which you will soon discover. On the first morning of intermittent fasting, you're going to start your morning with two cups of warm water instead of tea, coffee or juice if that is your current habit. We'll explain later why that is important. Next, you set your breakfast one to two hours later than you currently eat. You should also set an alarm on your phone. Now, before you make excuses that this is not practical because you must leave for work or drop the kids off to school, you simply have to prepare food that you can take with you and eat later. Record your starting weight and then see how long it takes for you to burn through that one pound of fat that you've set as a goal. But only weigh yourself once a week. If, for example, you have lost one pound in that first week, you can quickly calculate how long it will roughly take you to reach your overall fat loss goal. If you've hardly lost any weight at all, watch our playlist below on keto and examine whether the food or drink that you're currently consuming are putting back the fat that your body burns during the new longer fasting period. For the avoidance of doubt, you can keep your diet the same and simply extend the fasting period by a further hour if you want. But that's not the most efficient way to go. Either way, staying with that same one pound goal, you either have burnt a pound or more and know your new intermittent fasting tool works, so you set a two pound goal, or you've made life difficult for yourself and need to adjust the bad guys in your diet once you understand keto. See links below. In the next week, just stay within the same 10 hour eating window, or if it was very easy for you, extend the fasting window by a further hour. In the above example, you will then eat at 10 a.m., but, and this is a very important but, only if you are hungry. That is because the hormones that make you feel hungry will often have subsided and you simply will not feel hungry. 
My own personal example is that I now never feel hungry until around 1 to 2 p.m., so I do not eat until then. The reason that starting the day with water is important is because it will suppress the appetite somewhat. Plus, if you have milk or sugar in your current morning drink, it breaks the fast, hence your fat burning efficiency. We will add links below that help you understand the fat loss and health benefits of intermittent fasting and also understand keto, which can supercharge your intermittent fasting. Plus, this video will be one in a multi-step process of how you can use intermittent fasting efficiently to burn fat, remove excess skin, maintain your ideal weight, and improve focus and concentrating. Therefore, please subscribe and hit that update button. Finally, feel free to ask any questions that you may have in the comments section below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.